Hi, I am Damien Dab Steele, and I play for Gen G. Hey guys, I'm Sam Samo, and I play for Gen G. Hey, my name is Timothy Ta. I go by Automatic in Game, and I play CS:GO for Gen G. Uh, my name is Kenneth Kusta Swen, and I play for Gen G Counter Strike. Hi, my name is Han Sol. My nickname is Bentet. I play for Gen G. Hey, I'm Chris Tebbit, or Elmer Pai's main game name, and I'm the Counter Strike head coach. <laughs> At Gen G, we have been big fans of CSGO forever. We've always known that we wanted to get into CS, and the opportunity to come in and be a part owner of Flashpoint gave us, it was the impetus for us actually doing it. As far as the core roster of Cloud9, Damien, Tim, and Kenny, those players in the past have all shown that they can compete at the highest level. We thought that the opportunity for them to continue playing on Cloud9 didn't make a lot of sense. There were some players maybe that they wanted to play with, or they weren't playing on a roster that really helped them compete at the highest level, and we thought we could turn that around through our support systems here at Gen.G. Once we acquired them, we picked up Bentet, we picked up Som, and as you can see, the team's been firing on all cylinders. For me, when I was last one to come coach this lineup, I think it was, it was pretty much a, a no-brainer for me. It was basically going from assistant coach to head coach, so obviously that's a, that's a bit of a jump. Uh, I enjoyed working with Damien, Tim, and Kenny. Uh, so it was a no-brainer for me, obviously just taking that one step up has always been my kind of goal since that was basically the whole reason to join Cloud9 as the assistant coach was to one day be a head coach. It happened a little bit faster than I thought it would, but I'm definitely not complaining and I was very grateful for the opportunity. Uh, for me, Ben Tet was a no-brainer. He was the best player out of Asia. He's banging people's heads off. Like we've seen that at tournaments. He goes to Tai Lu, he's consistently the top fragger while in-game leading in different languages that aren't his. <laughs> if we could bring him in, not even have to be an in-game leader, he'd be a great, a great addition to the team. He's obviously very talented. Obviously we talked to him beforehand, his English was pretty good. So that was one of the main concerns out the way. So he's been great from that point of view. Som, I think it's always good on each roster to have one up and coming talent, someone who's kind of a little bit more of an X factor. You're not 100% sure what you're gonna do, but it's gonna give you that potential to be a really good team with that little bit of an unknown quantity. And I think so far he's delivered very well. Uh, he's been very strong. His attitude's been good. And yeah, I've been very happy with him. And he was just the obvious talent at the time to, to grab a hold of. Yeah, I would, I would say the conversation to get Som was definitely more thought out because he definitely was having a harder time on Envy uh, succeeding. So I would say it was definitely more of a sort of like, let's see how, like, let's watch his demos. And like, the good thing about me making that choice to get him is that I sort of knew him already um, outside of the game. So that sort of gave me a better insight into how he was as a person. And I thought he was definitely like a better fit for us than a lot of players I could have picked from. And then he has the skill, just like, I don't think he was being used properly in the NV team and the NV team sort of just seemed like a, like they were in a rough spot. Bentet, I mean, that's a pretty easy choice. We didn't really have any goals uh, when we signed with Genji. And in terms of like making the major and everything, for me, I felt like that was just a given. Like we should be playing there and and uh, we should be trying our hardest to qualify and stuff like that. For expectations, I think uh, for now, the most recent one, uh, I think we sh made the minor, which we should have. And I think our expectations going into the minor is making it out of the minor where we can get stickers. But um, nothing too big. Like we, we still know our limits and I think we just want to do whatever we're happy with first. One of our goals when we first signed was just to crack the top 30. I think when uh, we were talking to Nate right before we signed, he said, you know, like we, they'll give us like a year to, to get into the top 30. So we've gotten past that. And obviously now it's just to get out of groups at tournaments and be consistent. I think I'm still learning, like, Obviously, the communication thing, I'm still learning how to speak English more fluently. And I, I'm still learning also as a player to adapt to this team play style. I'm not there 100% yet, but I'm still learning every day. Uh, to all of Genji fans, I want to say thank you for your support to Genji. But I hope that for the upcoming events, we will do some damage and have a good result 
and hopefully you guys will still supporting us not only the players but also the organization because we need that obviously uh, for Indonesia fans I was speaking at my own language thank you semuanya yang udah dukung gua uh, di mana gua sebelumnya bermain di tim Thailu dan sekarang bermain di tim Genji thank you banget yang udah dukung gua dan sebelum di tim Thailu gua juga sempat main di Reka dan NXL thank you banget yang udah dukung gua dari sana yang udah ngikutin karir gua terus sampai sekarang Gue mau ucapin terima kasih. Make sure you guys watch us at Flashroom.